Good morning. We are at the Contemporary Resort for breakfast at Chef Mickey's. We're crippled. We're both crippled, but life goes on. We'll hobble along. So we got up really, or I got up really late this morning, but we both failed miserably in hearing our alarms. So that just shows you how tired we are. I've actually downloaded an app that's called Super Loud Alarm, and we both slept through it. <laughs> so we're a little bit late. Well, considering how late we got up, we're not that late for this reservation, if that makes sense. Well, we did push it back 20 minutes. Well, it's true. But we're still not over an hour late. We're, we're under an hour late. Life gives you lemons sometimes, and you just have to eat them, even if you don't like lemons. My heel is better, but because I was walking like an idiot yesterday, I've now got two blisters on, on the balls of my feet. So I'm even more crippled. Shane is also crippled. Why are you crippled? So I have a big blister on the back of one of my feet. He's got a big blister on the back of one of his feet. Cool. <laughs> so we're really good humans today and we're really looking forward to getting back to our condo and laying by the pool all day. Are we bub? Yes, we are. <laughs> Rest at last. <laughs> so as you know, we're on the deluxe dining plan this time. We want to make sure that we get the most out of it. So that's why we've chosen to come to Chef Mickey's today. Because look at the price. $42 for a buffet breakfast, which is insane. And here is the menu. That's Contempo Cafe in there. Look at the Mickey's on the chairs. So when you come in and you check in to Chef Mickey's, you get to come over here and have a family photo. So our family of two will now be having their photo. Cream, which is my favorite thing on the earth, and Mickey sprinkles. Mickey freaking sprinkles. Day made. So, how are those Mickey waffles doing for you? Magical. Well, Maybe very happy. With your Mickey confetti on them? Yep. Mickey sprinkles on a Mickey waffle covered in squirting cream is quite possibly my dream breakfast. If bacon went with it, that would probably be better. If you could have bacon and cheese, that would be my dream on a plate, but I'm very aware that they don't all go together. Good stuff. But this is a winning combination, everyone. So all in all, you're happy with your breakfast here I'm at Chef Mickey's? Extraordinarily happy. The $42 is expensive, but I'd probably pay about $60 for a little sprinkle. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Happy nostalgia. Thank you. 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 Thank So we've got some snack credits to use up. So we have this Mickey Ears Red Velvet Cupcake and the, what was this called? White Chocolate Peanut Butter Cup. White Chocolate Peanut Butter Cup, which used to be from Contempo Can, which is over there. But they're actually from the little shop, which is just around the corner there. We are literally going down the world's slimmest Escalator. It's a very small escalator. <laughs> Review on the cupcake I just ate. The frosting was really, really dense and very sickly. But I nearly finished it. You did. You did. So as you can tell, this is not day five. This is in fact day one, and we have just checked in. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> Here's a little inside view of the resort. So when you first come in, you check in over here. So these are all the check-in desks and the concierge. 
and then round to the main lobby. So, I mean, it's pretty amazing in here. The smell as well, oh, the smell is incredible. I don't know what it is, but I want to replicate it in my own house. So you've got like a big fireplace thing there and totem poles. And then over here you've got like the resort shop. Another totem pole. So this is a shop. It's got sort of a few merchandise things in there, water, wine, um, some snacks, that kind of thing. Because this is a DBC resort, so they do have sort of a fair fair amount of food in there. Nice little rocking chair area here in front of the pond thingy and that goes outside and then it's made to look as if it's going into the pool which is lovely. Over here you've got a fireplace and I believe these are all like the different levels of stone which is probably accurate I'm assuming. So there's the fireplace here and we actually saw someone sat in front of this the other night with like duvets and stuff it was so sweet it's an old couple and this this is whispering canyon cafe it's kind of like if you know what dick's last resort is this is sort of disney's answer to dick's last resort and if you ever go there ask for ketchup is all i will say you've got outside over here which leads to the pool area Half down to the pool area there. Lovely little rocking chairs there, you can just relax. In the beautiful sunshine. And you walk down here, you've got Territory Lounge, which is like a cocktail bar with light snacks, just in there. That's not open until 4.30. This is kind of like a U-shaped hotel. Walking down one of the U's now, and down here is Roaring Fork, which is yeah, which is the quick service here. And they do like bakery items and cupcakes. And you can do your refillable mugs here. They do a really good breakfast platter. Loads of snacks, Loads of snacks basically. And it's, like, it's all quick service. You can get coffee here, all that kind of stuff. Here you've got a waterfall outside our resort, I mean. Beautiful. And this is the outdoor seating area for Roaring Fork. And there is the pool. And Gaze Point is just over there. And there's a shame. Oh, tired pup. So this is Roaring Fork in here, which is your quick service. So, pretty good. Roaring Fork. So this is the menu your breakfast. So you've got the breakfast platter, making sure waffles, flatbreads, vegetables, pork pork, mm -hmm. so that's pretty cool. And then the lunch and dinner. And we went in there the other day just to get a cupcake. And I have to say, all the food that everybody was eating did look really good. So I hear that it's quite a good place to go to eat. We just We've been on the deluxe, so we haven't had time. So this is the fruit of our room. All we've had time to do is get fat. Yeah, all we've had time to do is get fat. Build your own, all you can to enjoy family clutter. There you go. Here we are, at our door. Go and have a look inside. Or not. There you go. So here we have our room. It's quite spacious. I come in. Take the way hand side. And here it has sinks with a nice big mirror. That's a gift. Hair drying as well, and towels. All your Disney amenities that you need as well. Reasonable sized closet as well. With iron in. As we come into the main room, you get two big double beds. 
excuse the luggage. Nice big TV. Little table as well. There's also a cabinet in the middle with a telephone. And just behind here, you get four electricity ports. So that's very handy for your charges now at night. Here is the view from our room. And we're pretty sure that we've got upgraded, so if you look over there, see them rooms just there? We're in the ones on the opposite side this here, so we're quite high up, level six. And yeah, the pool down there is fantastic. You can see the main lobby over there and the pool down there. The warm forks just down there. And if you look in the distance just over there, that is where Geyser Point is. All in all, we've had a fantastic stay here. And we would definitely come here again. Oh, hello, Mr. P. Hello. Just want to show you in the bathroom as well. Mrs. P. Mrs. P. That's me. Obviously, you've got your, you've got your toilet, you've got your shower and your bath. Excuse the towels. We've also got these guys on the wall. Look, Bambi. I don't even know the rest of them, but there's a hidden Mickey and you can't see him. There he is. Where's the hidden Mickey? There he is. What? There. How did I not see him? I can't believe we're now leaving and you've only just told me about it. <laughs> I've known about this the whole time I've stayed here and Emma has only just realised. Yeah, but he is, that Mickey Shh. is at your head height. We're off. <coughs> oh. Bye. 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 Where are you going? I'm going home. See you later. Bye. Have fun. Okay. Have a nice time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Hunter. Shh. So that's it. Bye bye, Wilderness Lodge. This is the parking lot, by the way, everybody. It's riveting. Something else that's fun. This is the size of our car. <laughs> we have five cases in it. We have three large cases, two small cases, a cooler full of alcoholic beverages, a me, a Shane, and a Mickey backpack. Good job, I would say. Hey babe, shall we go home? Yeah! Second home home. So after a hard five days at Disney, we finally arrived back at our wonderful condo for nine days of actual rest. We will obviously be going back to Disney, but more of a normal type trip now, where we're here the majority of the time, and then we do nice things in the evening at Disney. Do a bit of shopping. A bit of shopping. Outlet yeah, we go to the outlets. Staying at Disney was really different for us but worth it because we saved a lot of money. For now, it's cocktail o'clock, <laughs> by the pool, in the sun, relaxing, until we return to Disney later today. For so that lasted last, long, didn't it? For our last Disney dining meal. <laughs> yeah, for our last Disney dining meal at Chico. And we've got some snacks to use too, so. <sighs> Relax time. How's it feel to be home? Cocktails. Here we have a super large plant pot and a very sweaty husband. Oh, all right, Guns McGee. Oh, that was, no, no, you looked all right then. Yeah, just, just all right, apart from those. Get that sweat on. I would scroll down everybody, but Shane is only wearing a thong. So, you know. <laughs> Five days. No, you didn't. No, no, now you're just tubby. I like you when you're tubby. <laughs> back at Animal Kingdom. We left Disney for all of what, eight hours maybe? <laughs> and we're back at Animal Kingdom. We are doing our quite a passage fast pass. Well, we've got two. We've got Doff. Two of them. Doff fast passes today. We didn't get on yesterday. But let's not speak too soon, we're not in the park yet. No. And we have heard that Navi is still down. 
so you know. Right, we're back because we've got to finish off our credits. We've got to finish off our credits and also we're having like a mini date evening because we're at Chico later and it's become apparent to us across the last year that there's many an alcoholic beverage at this park that we haven't tried okay. and that is absurd. So we're here to sample what the beverage is. Beverages. Let's go. We're doing so it. we're on flight of passage. We're doing it. Looks we're like on. we're doing it. We're gonna do it. <laughs> Although we're not there yet. Is it gonna be good? It can all get wrong. Is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be splendid for us? I'm excited to see what I think of it. Mm. Animal Kingdom smells like barbecue. Oh yeah. Might have to get some barbecue fries. Oh, we love barbecue food. Cheese and pork pork on it. We're we're meaty people, so. And it's a snack credit. And it's a snack credit. <laughs> <laughs> So we're now getting a rum blossom, which is the alcoholic version of the night blossom, and a moana, moana, moara, margarita, margarita. And this is the rum blossom. It's the margarita. Very margarita. Very margarita. Tasty alcohol as well, which is yeah. I'll try the other one. Got some balls in there. You got a ball in there, did you? Got two. <laughs> they were nice. It's quite nice. You, yeah? you, you like it? I like it. You like it yeah. So I'm gonna go for margarita first as well. in about an hour's time. As a way of using up our snack credits, we've come to the Flame Tree Barbecue to get these fries with pulled pork and plastic cheese, plastic cheese which is a snack credit. But, Very we've, good but we've also got a life cupcake. We're gonna add anniversary cupcake. It's ginormous. Look, it's the same size as a cup. Now what's this? This is a margarita and an iron pan. Right. Duck. Ducks. So we just had the 20th anniversary cupcake. And if you wanted to hide it, just to let you know you can't. Stick your tongue out. <laughs> it's glowing. Ooh, that's scary. Oh me? <laughs> Got a, a zebra, zebra leopard print skirt on. Here we are at night. Look at it. Beautiful. So pretty. Pretty. We're here at Gico. 
with my red husband because he's been in the sun for four hours. <laughs> so this is the menu for Juco. I am going to be having the Taste of Africa, which I'm hoping is like the bread service at Sanaa, just nicer. What are you going for, babe? I'm going to have the grilled wild boar tenderloins. Grilled wild boar tenderloins. Okay, and then I think we're both going for the steak. Yep. Yeah, steak because it comes with mac and cheese. So nice. So, so nice, beautiful settings. Oh, she says beautiful settings and then that appears. Oh my God. <laughs> so you have an appulatini. I have an appulatini. Which um, it means appulatini. Pretty much an appulatini. This glass is the thinnest glass I've ever seen. Can Don't break. <laughs> Look how thin that is. It's so thin. No, it's really thin. I feel like I could bite through it's it. It's too delicate for you. Oh, it is. Tasty. Mm, very, very nice. And I have the the African rum runner, which I haven't tried yet. Let's have a little go, shall we? Film that reaction, baby. Nice. Mm. We just got the bread service and he said that this is like an African beer bread. That sounds good to me. So this, this is my appetizer. <laughs> Look at all this bread. So much bread. And we've got that as well. It's a good job I like bread, isn't it? Enjoy. I will, I will. My appetizer has just turned up and it is the grilled wild boar tenderloin. What is a tenderloin, please? The loin. <laughs> of tenderness. <laughs> of tenderness. Of tenderness variety. <laughs> I would explain to you what the other things are on the plate as well, but I don't even know to be honest with you. But that just looks delicious. Look at all that bread. We literally have a bakery worth of bread over here. That has absolutely no problem with me. And loads of different African dips. We've just been discussing that we feel a little bit better now that we're not at Disney and we feel a little bit more relaxed because we've had some time in the sun. But as you can tell from the colour of Shane's head, <laughs> Shane had a lot of time in the sun today and I've noticed that he's been delicately rubbing his eyelids for the past hour or so. Why is that? Maybe a little bit sunburned. <laughs> he burnt his eyelids. <laughs> I'm not sure if your eyes are even open at the minute. <laughs> <they're so> close. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Honestly, if you saw this video, your eyes are so far shut. That's crazy. So far shut. Good English. English words. <laughs> So the food has just arrived, our mains anyway, um, I polished off all the food. <laughs> so let me show you what we've got. So I've got the filet with mac and cheese. It used to come on a bed of mac and cheese but I think they just serve this as standard now. And they butterflied my steak because I like it, well done. And Shane has got the mac and cheese with what? The Wagyu beef. Wagyu beef. Okay, it's going to be marvellous. That looks like it. Is it a dessert that come? What have you got there, babe? Spiced peanut butter mousse. Spiced peanut. 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 Oh. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how tired are you? <laughs> oh, you're rubbing your little burnt eyelids. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
I have the Malva pudding, also known as Splodge of Bird's Nest, on a very large plate. Don't really know what it is. Looks posh. But yeah, it looks far too posh for me, but I shall eat my bird's nest and I'm going to enjoy it. Do you do that? Yeah.